A Woman and a Cheetah's Cage, a story of empathy and fur. Hello there, viewers, and welcome to the channel. Do you know what differentiates humans from other creatures? It's humanity. And do you know what humanity means? Humanity is inspired by the Latin word humanitas, which means human nature, kindness. So this means kindness is an essential trait of humans. If you find it hard to believe, the unusual story of a wild cheetah and a humane woman will change your perception. Let's get started. This is the story of a kind-hearted woman and a wild cheetah. Seeing the big cat in pain stirred the natural humane instinct of Olga, and she decided to help the animal. But Olga had no idea what was going to happen next, and none present around her had expected such a twist. That's because cheetahs are dangerous wild animals, dubbed the fastest land mammal in the world. Cheetahs have an acceleration speed higher than most high-end vehicles, going from zero to 60 miles an hour in only three seconds. There's every reason to believe an encounter between a human and a cheetah would yield unfavorable results. Not many know that cheetahs aren't really a threat to human safety compared to other wild cats. They're pretty docile. Still, it's dangerous to be around a cheetah without any safety precautions because, after all, they are wild animals, so humans should be careful and not try to touch them no matter what. Despite knowing the risks involved, Olga wanted to help the cheetah. She knew that cheetahs aren't as friendly to humans as she believed, but she was a brave woman who loved animals a lot. She worked at a zoo in Russia and was famous for her loving attitude toward animals. One day, a new member arrived at the zoo. It was a full-grown male cheetah called Ishel. People and the staff members were all really excited and welcomed the cheetah into the facility. They were eager to hear him growl. Cheetah sounds are some of the most feared in the world, so while the animal was in captivity, people wanted to hear it. They expected the big cat to start exploring his new home excitedly, or at least show some interest in getting familiar with the people surrounding his case. However, everyone was slightly disappointed to see the reaction of the cheetah. Instead of checking out the smells and the sights, Ishel seemed dull and didn't even check his cage. He just lay in there. Was the animal sleepy? Or was he not happy to be there? These were the questions bombarding everyone's mind at the time. The majority opinion was that the cheetah was asleep, so they left him to rest as much as he wanted. The following day, the zookeepers were excited to meet the new member and expected that the cheetah would be in a better mood that day. While they all looked forward to a meaningful interaction with the big cat, they were in for a shock. Ishel hadn't moved even an inch throughout the night. That was something unusual. How could an adult cheetah not move at all? Everyone present near the cage was confused. Was the cheetah still missing his old home? Was he scared of people who were strangers to him? Perhaps he was just upset and wasn't ready to make new friends. So the staff tried to push him to interact by offering him breakfast. Still, the cheetah didn't move. Now everyone at the zoo was worried. Something was definitely wrong with this animal. The zookeeper suddenly felt a sense of alarm and notified the management about the issue. A veterinarian was called in promptly to ensure nothing was wrong with him. The vet examined the animal thoroughly and discovered that his breathing rate was heavier than average. He must have caught a cold while being transported to the zoo. However, the situation was more difficult than people thought. Since the animal didn't receive immediate care and medication for the cold, it developed into severe pneumonia. The vet said the authorities should urgently start treatment, or the cheetah may not survive. His condition was worsening with every passing hour. Zookeepers were stunned to know the truth. Now they faced the challenging task of administering pneumonia medication to the animal. This was not an easy task, since the animal was in no mood to comply. Ishil was not even interested in water or food. How would he take the medication? The vet was concerned, as this might put the animal's life in danger. Something had to be done quickly, or they would face a more adverse situation later in the day. Another issue was that the cheetah hadn't eaten or drunk anything since last night, so they had to feed him something before giving him medicine. It seemed as if the cheetah hadn't eaten much for a few days as he had lost weight. His fur looked dull and dry, his eyes were red, and the world's fastest mammal could barely walk a few steps. His body couldn't find the strength needed to stand or walk around. This is why everyone at the zoo was worried. 
They wanted to help the big cat, but were scared of how he might react as they were strangers to him. That's when they thought of calling Olga for help. She was extremely good with other animals. Hence, she might be the cheetah's savior in this challenging situation. As soon as Olga reached the cheetah's cage, she realized the severity of the condition. If the cheetah didn't receive immediate medical care, he could die. But since the animal was new at the zoo, no one had any idea of what to expect when they tried to feed him medication. It was undoubtedly a risky job, considering the animal was untamed and wild. Olga was initially doubtful about whether she should take the initiative, but eventually, her love for animals took over and she agreed to take the risk. The zoo's management didn't want her to risk her life, but the situation was so severe that they had to decide. Time was running out. Olga was adamant about feeding the animal with her hands. Hand feeding was the only option to force the big cat to eat. The zookeepers didn't approve of this idea because the risk was too great. Cheetahs are unpredictable animals and nobody knew what harm he might cause to Olga. However, she was not the least bit worried about the reckless behavior she might face as she fed Ishel because all that she could think about was his health and well-being, which relied on her at the moment. So Olga decided to take the matter into her own hands, although the management didn't allow her to do that. She snuck into Ishel's cage and quietly crept closer to the sick cat. She noted that the animal hadn't moved as she came closer. He was fully awake and could have attacked her at any minute. Olga was well aware of it, but she wanted to save this animal's life. Thinking of the pain and discomfort Ishil must be going through made her uneasy. Slowly, she came close enough to feed the big feline. She had brought a piece of meat along, and now that she had the chance, Olga offered it to him. But what happened next surprised Olga. She thought that the animal must be hungry and would quickly grab the food. But instead, Ishil bared his teeth and looked directly into her eyes as if signaling her to go away. But she hadn't come this far to go away without trying her best. So Olga kept offering Ishil food. By this time, some of the workers had seen Olga doing the unthinkable and had gathered around with inhalable anesthesia in case the animal turned agitated and attacked the young woman. However, to everyone's surprise, after trying for about half an hour and not giving up hope, Olga had dipped the meat in water to make it appetizing for Ishil. And finally, she received a positive response from the cheetah. He had started licking the meat slowly. She wasn't scared of the animal anymore, so she didn't hesitate and sat still, holding that big chunk of meat in both hands. This was an amazing sight for everyone. The cheetah, who hadn't eaten anything in more than 48 hours, was now slowly licking it. Then, after a few minutes, Ishil started taking small bites of the meat. This was the moment that everyone dreaded. How would the hungry cheetah react when fed by a human? Well, what happened next shocked them all, including Olga. Something strange happened that she never thought could happen. The cheetah turned away. How could he? Why did he refuse to eat? A worried Olga left the cage while all others were relieved to see her back alive. Olga was now constantly thinking of ways to feed the animal because otherwise they might not be able to save his life. So she decided to try again after an hour. This time, Ishil responded a bit earlier than before. This way, she kept returning to his cage with food and water until a time came when it seemed like Ishil was expecting her. As soon as Olga entered his enclosure, Ishil stood up and tried to approach her, but he was too weak to do that. Gradually, the two developed a unique bond of friendship. Everyone looked at them in awe as she fed him food and medicine. Even the vet was surprised at how quickly Ishil had recovered. Now the zoo has a healthy and playful cheetah who jumped every time he saw Olga. Don't you think it's a heartwarming story of how a kind-hearted human saved the life of a wild cheetah against all odds? Please share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and press that bell icon to stay connected. Thanks for watching.